Hello dear friends, I'm here to show you another feature of SmartSpot land. Uh, be with us until the end of this video please. If you have a large group and have lots of Telegram users and you don't know how to group your users and send a special different messages to your groups, a SmartFast land is the answer. Uh, open your browsers and write smartfastland.com, log into your panel or register. This is the panel and you can see the left side bar here. Okay, for grouping your users, go to bot users and you can see all users, registered users, registered questions and grouping users. If you want to grouping your users, first you have to activate sign up button and create some question. So your users have to answer the questions to register to your bot. If you don't know how to do this, uh, we have prepared a tutorial video about that and you can watch it. So, I have some registered users and my first step is done. Let's go to grouping users. Tap new button. Users group. First, for the name section, you should choose a name for your category or your group. For example, service test. If you want that your group be a subset of another group, write the subset name here. And what is number of buttons in row? If you want to create a subset for your group, you can set a layout button here. Button and determine that your group will be shown or not. Confirm time, normal or automatic. Joining users can be automatic and without confirmation by the admin or it can be also normal or manually which signifies that if a user wants to become a group member the administrator must approve it. Join type can be repetitive or non-repetitive. If you would like that to prevent your users from joining multiple times you can activate non-repetitive. You can decide whether your group is paid or free. If your group is paid, your users must pay before they can join your group. Now I determine free, but I show you if you want to make your group paid group, write a price here and membership duration. Uh, you can see the question section here and you must uh, create some questions here and your users have to answer the questions if they want to be a member of your group. Write a title for your question, user response type, for example, message or whatever you need, and determine the validation type and the others. And I create a question here and you can see as an example. Click on add question and finally click on save. You know, if you want to change your question, this is the edit button and the delete button for delete your question. And finally, click on save. Save all these changes. This is a category that I have created. You can see four buttons here. One of them is edit button and the other is, for example, user. You know, by clicking on users, you can see the list of your users. I don't have any user here. You can see your users here in two ways. The first way is that your users have to answer the grouping users question so they can be the member of your group and you can see them here. The second way is that you can add them to the group manually. Click on registered users and there are your registered users. You can add them to the group by clicking on group membership. Okay, come back to the grouping users and the access button. Click on it. As you know, there are your buttons and you can allow access buttons to your groups. Finally, you can see delete button here. By deleting button, you can delete your group. But you can only delete your group if your group doesn't have any member. If it has, you have to remove 
the users from your group. The purpose of categorizing is, uh, for example, sending separate messages to your separate groups or allow some access to some of your groups. Here I show you how to send a message to your special group or your special category. Go to messages in left sidebar and click on group message. I'll create your message here. In this section, you can determine your contents. For example, all your contents or registrations or the others. Here are the buttons you have. And here is users group. You can select it and send your message everything with panel is done let's go to your bot and this is my bot here use a slash start and this is a join the group and the button for grouping user join the group please choose one user group service test send your national code as you know i've determined the length of the answer 15 characters send and if your information is comfort click on yes so done and as you can see my request is sent but I should wait for admin confirmation for group membership. It's done. Enjoy your Telegram bot. And if you have any question, please contact us via SmartBots land support. Thanks for your support and your interest.